Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man No Shot run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with nothing but melee attacks and a bit of sorcery. Uh, no shots, no explosives, nothing. We're here with the Warlock who is going to hopefully enlighten us today in the truest sense of the meaning. We're going to blow his brains out and then we're going to destroy a sarcophagus. That's the plan. Let's see how well I can execute on it. First things first. Now is the perfect time Inch. for a bit of concealment and sneaking. This here should not trigger. Hostiles making the rounds. Yep. That's what I thought. Uh, could he be useful for us for mind control? One time shield. Really not m much more than that. So the answer is potentially no. Let's first of all carefully Moving. move forward. All right, I'll go. Heading out. Again, we don't have a time limit here. Just gotta rid uh, get rid of those two. And to my understanding, they are not even moving. Yep, that's exactly right. They are not. Okay. So first things first. Let's hit both of them. There we go. Nice little uh, bit of damage. And that's a free kill right there. Fantastic. I do definitely not want to deal with an Overwatch. Yeah, the problem is we would trigger if we were to rush through here. So instead, let's hopbite, let hopbite take care of that. Thanks to Inspire, we got a lot of hopbite movements. Overwatch is successfully removed, and we can finish this guy. Good. First pack is being dealt with. A little bit more cash loot. Nothing that we actually will need. Sane moves up here, and that Galleon Pro moves up here. And turn and let's On the move. get those guys up here. We're in an okay spot. We can easily move in. First things first. If my memory serves me well, well this here should still be okay and not trigger. On your order. My memory indeed served me well. I hope it's worth it. So, moving up further and and turn. Now the little bit more difficult part. I think this here is also fine. It is. And thus we move up. Just moving all the way to the line. Doesn't matter if we're concealed. This here will probably trigger him. Yeah. 
Never actually tried to do it with a soldier that is concealed. Position compromised. Alright. We faced these things before and we can do it again. No matter what happens today, only one side is leaving this place alive. That is very true. Good. Planeswalker is the one thing that we need to be drastically careful about. The rest is relatively surprisingly straightforward and on top of it he is weak against our melee attacks so as you can see he takes quite a bit of damage yeah, and that was probably not the smartest move to begin with Hogbite starts to amplify. And we're starting to do some really nice damage. 19 points. Cool. How about we're moving down here? And how about just as an idea, we're burning him with some solid sunfire. Okay, that's still close enough. Potentially won't kill him, but severely injure him. Oh, shit. 70 points of damage. I was wrong. It will very much potentially kill him. And the rest of the turn Doctor, is free fire against sort of the sarcophagus. If we were in a normal campaign, this guy would not last very long. Restoring them. No wonder these Moving don't into die. the spaces where we know that enemies can spawn. For Bladestorm attack. Attacks, rather. You know, I think we have a pretty decent position up here. Unfortunately, Comet Protocol is jack shit against the sarcophagus. Might as well. That's a. It's a stupid situation because he died so fast. Next turn we will only be able to do one attack, and since this psi operative here has both um, null lens and uh, the uh, void rift, I'm handing over the turn so that we're not wasting anything. I pierce all. Instead, we're starting with an Alliance. Nice, nine points of damage, that's good. Good start. Just like the last time, after about an hour, I will probably shortcut the video and uh, just speed up the combat. Can we mind control them to get something out of it? Probably not. Can we mind control them to get something out of it? Horrid. Horrid could deal damage against the sarcophagus. Maybe. Not sure. Maybe. I'm not sure about that. But we do have Shadow uh, Melt, so we could take over enemy enemies. Can't dominate it, so never mind. Can't dominate it. Trying to kill that elite specter right off the gate.
Good. And we're just moving closer to the middle because the Warlock can spawn wherever. Yeah, Sustenen saves the day for him. We're going on Perry Spree and we'll wait. Moving over and here's the Void Rift that we were talking about. It's unfortunately better looking than it deals damage due to the very low um, upgrade of our of our Psy Amps. And yeah, that's the entire bit of damage that you can expect, believe it or not. Conquering down. Yes, who's back for a little bit more action? Oh yeah, we already know what he's doing, so no need to to make him a, a more meaningful than he actually is. Cool. That's almost as if the game wanted us to do the following turn. Amplify, yes. Then free pickup, so that we're back at three focus. And then... Let's attack him. 17 points of damage, that is awesome. Okay, that's pretty far back and I'm wondering, yeah, it's probably a good idea to take the first eight, um, Comet Protocol. That'll force him back into the ring. A clever ploy, Commander. <laughs> that was not so clever. That was not so clever. Oh wow, really? He teleported in and then he's te immediately teleporting out. Talking about a sore loser, right? Luckily this room here is small enough so we don't need to deal with too much bullshit. Unfortunately for us, it is not small enough. So that we still need to deal with a little bit of bullshit. Um, one way of dealing with that is Inspire. I'm with you. That's an extra action. Normally I would do it after she attacked. Unfortunately, uh, she would be out of reach. And so we're rushing all the way over here. As easy as this looks, uh, we're having still a limitation because the sarcophagus can only be attacked by a very, very small set of abilities. I do not believe we can simply wear them down. Understood. We need to make destroying it our top priority. Headed there now. Good. Moving over here. And since I got that feeling that maybe over on the other side we're going to see additional enemies. Let's just move over there. Unfortunately Overwatch doesn't work because we cannot shoot anyone. Hmm. I wonder if Blazing Pinions does anything. The 
Berserk certainly is a great uh, asset to have. Good, we can't do anything meaningful, so might as well try domination. Let's tr start with the Archon here. That failed, 50-50. But we're trying it yet again. All right, that's a uh, non-oppressible Archon. Just barely out of reach. Good, we're going to tank him with Eric. Reduces the chance of it actually doing blazing pinions. The in case you wonder, if I'm not wrong, uh, both of uh, the uh, mind controls will be back in a bit. Do you feel the power? Bit of amplifying. Bit of hitting. Bit of parrying. Yeah, and he's burning. Plus we do have blade storm, so we should be fine. Let's just aid for a pole. Big feet over here so that he's the less likely target to be attacked. Our Templar has parry, so we're good to go. End turn. Very good. That uh, baiting worked very well. And the blade storm here worked as well. So far we're doing reasonably well. The team is much more sturdy than, than its predecessor. Let's start with the obvious. All of this burning, that is fantastic. Not even sure if we're always getting the full five um, points for defeating him. That would be the case, boy boy, this mission would be a farm fest. Almost got him right there. Moving up, let's get the warlock once again. Trying to keep Hogbite here relevant, essentially by really moving into the right places. You embarrass yourself by attempting to wield the Elder's power in the face of a true master. I was born with a greater understanding than you will ever attain. Very good. There we go. Of course, the Warlock is insulting us, which is the prime thing that all of the Chosen seem to do. It is incredibly obvious that their time is over.
We do not have another Inspire. There you go. So it almost seems for now. As if we would just let the Warlock uh, be for one turn. I mean, what we could do is... We could kill him, but then... We again would not be able to act. So let's wait that extra turn. And just stall him for now. It's not the Warlock that is dangerous. The real dangerous part is... The real dangerous part is not to have uh, cooldowns for the sarcophagus. That's really how the game here is going to be played. Yeah, maybe for the future we're just going to take him down. This is inconvenient, shall we say. You literally just summon five enemies in one go. Six. Sorry. Got him. All right. How unfortunate. This guy is burning. We got a nice, um, a nice blade storm on him. Up right here moves up, takes a hit, but does not kill, unfortunately. Same deal right over here. Another almost kill. Is it clear? All right, moving up. We could put him in, into stasis. Again, moving up here. Yeah, there's no point in stasis. Instead, let's deal some damage. Eventually, let him burn, burn to death. And that's fine. Good. The stun lancers will suck quite a bit. But we got a mine shield <clears throat> and some cover, so we should be fine, generally speaking. We want the mimic beacon. I would say yes, why why not? And lesson learned, we really don't want to mess with uh, with these guys. And turn for now. That'll be uh, that'll be a blade zone kill. Fantastic. Your continued defiance of the elders will only strengthen my That'll be another blade zone kill. And that would be yet another blade zone kill. Not freeing him up yet. He will be freed up now. But he should not be able to act because he have lost his turn. Yep, damn right. Okay, I was correct. This world is ours. Bit of extra damage, fair enough. And some extra loot, okay. But certainly not worth the hassle to go through all of that.
terms of timing, we're ready to go. So we can kill the warlock now. And that will allow us to null lands and next turn uh, two void rifts on their sarcophagus. This is a much more controlled fight than the first one, partially because I now know how to deal with it. Understood. We need to make destroying it our top priority. Moving to designated okay. coordinates. Moved to the coordinates. Right, and go. we got another lens here. Our absolute main source of damage. And if that is already the main source of damage, you know how bad it actually looks. Void Rift will be next turn. And that's the end of this turn. Can't mind control. So the Spectre is useless for us. And I'm wondering... Maybe I'll cut it a little bit shorter. Because this here does not look like a really dangerous fight against him. Yes, uh, when he summons a couple of his uh, servants. It's annoying. But that's pretty much it, right? Alright, Scorch kills. The Spectre takes a pretty good chunk. I think we're not able to fully get over there. Yeah, what we certainly don't want to do is no returning uh, now use a lot of cooldowns just to let him kill the Spectre. Spectre is not dangerous. Enter the rift. This here is what counts. I wish we could hit it with a bolt. That would be fantastic. Unfortunately, we can't. And we can also not hit it with a protocol. All right, moving up. Moving out. And just leaving the scenery as is. We've killed him, I think, four times now. And the sarcophagus is down to 66-ish percent of its health. Nice little extra bit of damage here. Yeah, the Spectre will not even survive. Yeah, I guess what I'm saying is we're about half an hour uh, in. I think I'll let uh, I'll go through one more iteration and then uh, pause the uh, recording. Not so much because I don't want to record it, but it does not feel like this here is a particular challenging encounter. A chosen is getting spanked over and over and it's just a matter of getting the sarcophagus down
Good, let's amplify. As per the usual, and give him a bit of a greeting. 15 points of damage, that is just fantastic. And reach him, okay, cool. Oh boy. 70. Lovely. It sort of seems the game is now in the state where it just doesn't want us to succeed and tries to throw in whatever it can in order to prevent that from happening. So, a bit of graphical bugs. Desperation never pays off, XCOM. Desperation never pays off. Inspire is just so incredibly good. And Hogbite follows up every single hit. 10, 15 points of damage. Still can't find him. Where exactly? Oh, he went over there. Okay, cool. Well, before he now summons his whole family back, let's just end his misery. <laughs> With the amount of energy housed in that capacitor, I fear the chosen will continue. Good, to great. We got a promotion. That's not bad. I do not believe we can simply wear them down. Understood. We need to make destroying it our top priority. And we're positioning ourselves right onto the spawns. This guy could not help us, unfortunately. He can mark the target, but that won't help us really. Oh, that would be a help. That indeed would be a help. Let's retry uh, messing with its mind. Good, just to double check, Void Rift is on cooldown, Nullance and Void Rift are again on cooldown, so it's the perfect time to go for a domination. Come on, guys, seriously. All right. I'm a bit disappointed, to be honest. Could have killed this guy. Having the Archon would actually provide us with quite a bit of advantages, if you think about it. The Blazing Pinions may... Oops, oh, wow, no, we're not going to uh, shoot him. Oh, holy. Target still up. All right. Let's provide you with an aid protocol. Oh, we don't even need that because he is stunned. Okay, let's see where the Warlock is going to join. Boy, he would definitely be helpful, like the Archon. It flies, so maybe it could fly close enough um, in order to 
to actually get right up there. Unfortunately, we'll never find out, really. Meanwhile, the Warlock takes some hits. You will pay the price. And we're just continuing to harass him. Where exactly is he? So he must be somewhere. I think it's just a positioning error. Exactly, is he now? Where exactly is he now? Good. Archon is going to be taken out for one more round. Don't want to deal with him now. And we're ex inspiring Hawkbite. Okay, he's hiding up there. Okay, fair enough. Well, guess what? We can soul fire you. I think you won't. Good, moving up. Just in case he tries something. And the reason why I'm not fiercely hunting him down, uh, fiercely hunting him down is uh, mm, he should summon. We need that one extra round before the cooldowns of Null Lands and Void Rift begin to kick in. And surprisingly enough, he's doing exactly the same moves as before. And that's exactly why I positioned Hogfight so far to the front, because the Spectral Army will try to attack him. One more turn and then we can go. Let's start with this guy. Good old insanity. Deals damage and mind controls him. Fantastic. Good. He's down for this round. A righteous strike. This will kill one of them and the other one will be injured. I will not kill him yet, because as long as he stays alive, we are good to go. The Warlock will, as long as he stays alive, the Warlock will be in his uh, sustenance and effectively cannot do anything.
Moving up. That's a pretty solid kill. Target eliminated. The loss of these subordinates is as meaningless to me. Moving over here. And we have a nice little trap here where this guy will uh, charge into us and there will be a double blade somewhere. No, no, what? no need to take any risks. Good, we're moving up here so that I could charge in if needed. What's over there? Noxus moves over there. Still got to deal um, with the um, Archon, but we can do that next turn. For all intents and purposes, let's give him uh, a quick feed the A protocol, just so that no one accidentally takes a shot. Warlock still stays in his situation in his sustenance because there is still one of his spectral warriors alive now it's down warlock loses his turn and that's pretty much gg for him let's try to hit and kill the warlock There we go. Nice kill. Target neutralized. Good. That opens up the sarcophagus. We've got yet another promotion because this year is an XP farm times 10. Understood. We need to make destroying it our top priority. Moving right to here. Unfortunately, we can't use our grenade. That is very, very much unfortunate. A righteous strike. Uh, the, the one thing that I hate about this challenge is mind control gets so much weaker because you're controlling something and unless it has a melee attack or kind of a special ability it's only a walking mimic beacon and that's pretty much it orders confirmed moving out good now lens soften that thing up And one more round until we can I'm on it. deal with Void Rift. Yeah, for now we're fine. Yeah, the sky is useless, unfortunately. Could be semi-useful, unfortunately. Nothing that, that he has in his kit is remotely helpful for us. Going haywire. So although we could control it, let's just try to shut it down. That takes care of the overwatch. And the reason why I didn't want to control is exactly as I just said. It does not have any abilities that really help us, so at the end <clears throat> we would have just tried to kill it regardless okay before we were going to do anything stupid charging in and 
Scorchier can kill him. Very good. Half of the reinforcements are gone. Scorch can move over to here. Yeah, quick feet. Might move over to there. We are <coughs> continuing to deal massive amounts of damage against the sarcophagus. And let's move up. Good. End of turn. <coughs> Warlock shows up. Rokes the blade storm right off the bat. is in trouble once again. We are, of course, <coughs> using that to our advantage. <coughs> He's burning. We're probably not going to kill him this time. Good, that's one hit. Let's inspire to get a few more. That is yet another hit. Unfortunately, this guy is tough. We can take a second. No, 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 no. We're not going to take a shot. Or we can take a second parry. And yet another inspire. Damn it. I hate the length of the cooldowns. We could be done with this here much, much faster. There you go. We're just going to park him here. And since it's now 50 minutes in, I think what I'm going to do is this is a good moment in time to just call it off um, or uh, do the little um, time warp. You guys will probably um, see the result of it. I will deal with that piece of scum over the next half hour or the next hour and uh, then I'll show you kind of the final moments of the sarcophagus. All right, see you in a sec. All right, we are returning after quite a bit of battle in between i managed to get not only one but two archons on our side i didn't really speed up the process a lot because as you will see move all the way up there there's just no way to attack it and so far i was not able to place a single blazing pinion in a way that it deals damage to the sarcophagus. So maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Um, it was cool having those as additional resources. One more turn until null lands. And that'll be pretty much it. Got a big fat Andromedon coming. And 
you are being joined by another advent. The sarcophagus is in shambles. It really looks very in a very it's in a very very poor condition. What? Now it works? The actual F. Oh no. Now I do understand what happened. It has bombed itself, but not the sarcophagus. Well, F me. That would have sped a lot of things up if it actually would have worked. First things first. This here finally breaks it. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Yes, the regeneration process has been interrupted. Readings on the capacitor indicate it has become highly unstable. But we still got Inspire got. left over. Let's move over here. Teamwork. And then we're inspiring. We will overcome. There we go. Scorch moves in and takes down the lead officer. Overall, that fight here was way, way, way more controlled. Partially because uh, the Chosen was very much vulnerable against what we were trying to do, right? And that, of course, certainly helps to make it easier. But in parts also because I learned my lesson from the last time and put a much more sturdy team together that actually has the power to chuck through all of the cho uh, all of the chosen and then continue. Chosen will join us next turn. We'll pay the price. In the meantime, the we are just going to team up on this poor, poor Andromedon. We got two blade storms ready. That should be plenty. Let's do a blazing pinion here, just in case someone decides to spawn here. Yeah, we can also move straight over here. That's where the Chosen spawns, fantastic. Yeah, so much for it doing anything. Is not happy about the situation. I, I do understand that. And he'll finally learn his uh, place. Oh, really? Good. Can't reach him with a single movement. We need to hold back on our cooldowns now. Might as well use them in order to get him down. And this is his final dance of death. Oh, 
top fight full with focal skin literally charge across the entire map what a very smart move to stay inside of that void rift He had one job and one job only, and you failed. Did he really just steal six hit points? Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, we're going to hit both of them, but that's okay. The Only marginal amounts of damage. Oh, I forgot. He, whenever we're taking damage, he is getting some life back. Let's just disable him for now. Good. So far, so good. Problem is we can't reach him, really. So let's move up and just deal with his shenanigans. In the meantime, Quickfeet is standing right over here. It's just killing that Andromedon slowly but surely. It would be an elegant weapon, or it wields it with grace. But he's probably just going to summon again. And that'll trigger a lot of Blade Storm. Number one against him, almost killing him. And number one, uh, two against most of his uh, freshly summoned soldiers. Again, killing almost all of them. He's probably teleporting and then uh, will summon his spectral army. Which, funnily enough, will keep him alive. Just a tiny bit longer. Good, he's going down one way or the other. I don't care. This little spectral army has nothing on us. Good. One thing at a time. Moving over here. Finally, these guys are doing something. A very nice hit. How does an Ionic Storm sound like? To me, it sounds like a fantastic idea.
It'll almost refresh all of his focus right away. Correction, it will refresh all of his focus right away. So do we have Inspire? No, we do not. What's over there? So what we're going to do is simple and elegant at the same time. Taking this guy out, that means the Chosen will just sit there, trapped, not being able to do anything, whilst we are killing the Andromedon here. Make sure quick feet in case he misses does not take a retaliation strike and yeah oh we can't even kill it we got hog bite uh, to do the final blow moving up this guy will be sitting out for now one more turn. We cross time and space to serve the elders. Warlock cannot do anything. There is another voice. Because he was in stasis, effectively. The Zen's his stasis. And his pitiful existence. Well, these lower forms of life are now going to kick your ass, old man. There we go. It was long enough. Finally, finally, the warlock is defeated. Easy, that feels satisfying. Very, very satisfying. Alright guys, see you in the post-screen debriefing. I want to go through all of uh, the cinematics. Good, we landed Good work out right there. after an hour the of, be um, their well, favorite. it's one and a half hours actually of actual gameplay. The morale is pretty low, but that was to be expected. We got Untouchable on Quick Feet here. Fantastic. And Sane got a promotion as well. Unfortunately, another dead level for this challenge. So yeah, that was a successful mission. The Disruptor Rifle is fantastic, but we cannot really use it. So it's maybe not that fantastic for us. And we even got like six items of loot. Efficiently executed and no casualties. Fantastic. Lead the Reapers any day, Commander. Well done. Okay. Well, that speaks for the length of uh, the battle. All of them are shaken in some degree and require rest. Well, good, very good. That uh, solves our biggest uh, problem. And now uh, the, the campaign is wide open for any sort of strategic buildup. Just the hunter is left over, albeit he's immune to melee, so the fight against him uh, mm, will be ugly because he can only be hit and injured by psionic abilities might as well keep it up commander roby just got his promotion that's fantastic let's see what else we want to do let armor uh plus one hit point nope that's not what we were Wait, 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 wait. Light armor. 
No, that's Wrath Suit and Co. Maybe not too bad. But before we do it, what else could we get? Resistance contacts and plus nine dodge. Oh, that's pretty damn convincing to me. A lot of plus dodge. And you guys would know by now how much I like the plus dodge. Hopbite has, has done a phenomenal job for us, so we might give him some rest. And also take the mind shield off of him. And once we've done that, he can go on to the missions. Roby has been promoted as well. Definitely Reaper. Rapid Fire wouldn't really give us anything. Hogbite for now can take a vest. And what I'm wondering is... Yeah, we can't upgrade their bond. So might as well send him on that mission. Plus one resistance contacts by itself. It's already good, but the V9 um, dodge are fantastic. Just as a bonus reward. So let's begin that action. Wait a second, we get one more addition. Theoretically, since that takes eight days, we can get it down to seven days if we just put both of uh, them on the mission. And Roby at the moment does not need to get deeper into other missions. However, eh, we're, we're pretty healthy. Might as well do it. Saves a day. A little bit of optimization. Strategic resource located. Fantastic. That is a lot of material to work with. Sector 2, Australia. We really got masses and masses of um, resources now. It's just a, a matter of playing it right. Good fortress, most certainly. That's a fantastic ability. Very good. That was successful. Plus nine dodge. What else can we get? Could get an engineer. Not needed. You know that reinforcement here? Hmm. That's an extra one hit point on the spider suit. And I'm not 100% sure if light armor, if the normal armor is also considered to be light armor. So let's just do that for now. Stack more dodge on Hogbite. And we're just putting an optional soldier in here to not let him get wounded. And that optional soldier reduces the duration for one day, so we're down to five days. Fantastic. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Good. Bond is upgraded, so we got a level three bond. The first level three bond. And who else? Yeah, let's sonar could uh, use the negative trait removal. I think he had the one that let him hunker down after a single move. And we finally got some new uh, missions. The alien facility, uh, that's okay. I think we wanted to counter either the hidden event or 50%. Yeah. That one here looks good for me. I think this is what we're going to counter. Only 50% of supplies would stink. The hidden one hasn't yet gotten through, so we, we'll see that again. It will not just happen. And to be honest, the reduction here is neglectable. We can we can reach almost all of the facilities now. 
The reward here sucks, but it's okay. Hacking a hidden resistance computer is also fine. And I think overall we're good. Yeah, looks about right, guys. One thing that I would want to check is, did we get some extra ability points? Well, we got uh, quite a few. I think we're going to save those for Hogbite. Might be able to even give him a um, ghost and make him a super soldier. Hogbite and Roby, if both of them can get some more uh, dodge, that would be increasing their tankiness quite, uh, quite a bit. Elsewise, plus movement uh, is also appreciated. Other than that, that brings us to the end of today's episode. We're far, far in, and I appreciate uh, you staying with me. If you like the episode, if you like where this run is going, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below, and see you in the next uh, run. Bye-bye, guys.